Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Dan Evander, KJ7YBK. And he asks this, I live in a duplex condo situation and can string an HF antenna following the roof line. And I have many other options as well. I have had my general license for only a few months and will be getting an HF rig soon. I watched a video on the broadband butterfly terminated dipole, which intrigued me. It seems to be having a vogue right now. I've seen uh, comments on this antenna in multiple places. Um, I understand that I would need a 16-1 ballon on one end and a 1,000 ohm, approximately 200 watt resistor on the other end. What are your thoughts on putting something like this on the roof? Um, and uh, let's, uh, let's just go out to where we can see the entire uh, whiteboard and see what he's talking about. He's got a terminated dipole. Now, the only other terminated antenna that I know of is the rhombic. Um, it's fed at a corner over here with, it's got about 800 ohms resistance. And you put that resistance about 800 ohms here. And what happens is you get, it. You know, these are wave antennas, and you get a wave going this way. And it would normally be bounced back by what's here, but this 800 ohm resistor absorbs anything that would go in the other direction. So you get a unidirectional antenna. Um, the fact that there is a resistor in this antenna, I mean, you've got, and, and this gets complicated based on the, um, phasing of the different parts of it. You've got an antenna that somewhere in it has got a resistor. Okay, that resistor is going to dissipate heat. And that means that is energy that will not be transmitted. It's just going to be dissipated as heat. Um, I have heard many good things about that dipole. Uh, so if you want to put it up, fine. I'd be very curious about your results with it. Now, you mentioned that you're in a condo. It's a duplex. And there are two homes in the duplex, okay? Half of which is yours. And I presume the covenants are written in such a way that you can put up antennas on your half. Now, you talk about the antenna following the roof line. Did you want your antenna to be like that? Um, if it's like that, you're going to run into serious problems with this interacting with the house. Now, slightly better than putting it in the attic. I don't know what your roof is made of. If it's composition shingle, you're probably okay, even tile. Uh, but if underneath there is a foil-backed insulation or anything like that, this would create problems. If you can get that antenna a little bit higher in the air, for example, by putting a, a little pole right there and put your feed line up this way and then have the thing go out to a, a tree that would be a much better antenna. Uh, the thing is in, in antennas, height matters. And it's important to get the antenna up in the air, at least some. Um, you can also use, if you don't have a handy tree, you get two um, chain link fence top rail pieces and they fit into each other. And you get that about 20 feet high, you'll have to guy it but then you can bring the antenna down to that. And uh, I don't know where that particular antenna is fed. I'll have to try one one of these days. Maybe someone 
can recommend to me a brand name that I should get to uh, to try it. There are sufficient tra uh, channel funds that I can just buy the antenna without asking for a freebie from the manufacturer. Um, so I hope that helps answer that part of the question. Um, now the the radiation of this thing is going to be mostly this way um, if this is the start of the end and this is the terminated end here so you're going to get more of a pattern it would be probably a cardioid pattern that you would get out of it uh, let's see what are your thoughts on putting something like this up on the roof well again height matters uh, another antenna that goes up well is the uh, my antennas and infed half wave and they've got an 8010 and a 4010 and these have gray wires that are quite hard to see so you can put the thing you know if you put this toward the back of the house then it's harder to see from the from the street and can be quite hard to see where the uh, antenna goes out. That NFED half-wave antenna uh, is a dipole and you can do all the things with it you can do with a regular dipole such as make it an inverted V, make it um, a, a L shape, uh, just a straight out type of a dipole uh, sloper, uh, all kinds of things that you can do with it. Where you feed a dipole doesn't really have much to do with uh, how you treat it as a dipole. Um, so, like for example, when I had the NFED half wave antenna, uh, the My Antennas one here, I created it as an inverted V, as kind of suggested in the instructions. And although it was uh, end fed quite near the ground, uh, it worked great. I mean, a dipole is a dipole, whether you end feed it, uh, off center fed feed it, center fed feed it, uh, whatever, it's still a dipole, and all the rules uh, having to do with dipoles apply. So, um, Dan, I hope that answers your question. If you have watched this far in this video, I would encourage you to subscribe to this channel by clicking the appropriate button below or the little uh, ball that's in the lower right hand corner of the uh, video itself. That will subscribe you to the channel. In addition, if you'd like, you may click the bell, which will get you however you get YouTube notifications. You don't get emails anymore. I used to get an email, that was nice. Some of my more obscure channels that I um, subscribe to don't post that often. And now I miss them entirely because YouTube doesn't use email. Um, but there are other ways that you can be notified. The, the key thing about subscribing to the channel is that it is your vote of confidence in the channel itself. And you're telling YouTube you think this is the kind of channel that it should share with like-minded people. And uh, that would be ham radio operators and... Um, makers and stuff like that. So, uh, also if you would like to help support this channel financially, you certainly can by going to dcastler.com slash support. There are a number of the ways there that you might like. Until we next meet, 73.